Hello my soccer universe, final video for the day and I'm finally be able to wear this wonderful Betis shirt which also features very prominently in my La Liga jersey review, the first installment of which you will get on Wednesday uh, provided I can get it to the first part edited but I think I will find, be able to find that uh, time there's no, you see already on the background, it's only Spanish teams. There was no round in Portugal. I guess there was a, a Portuguese cup round. So we can dive into La Liga uh, fully. An interesting round that was, uh, at least story-wise, dominated by Xavi's debut as a coach for Barcelona. However, in the end, it was uh, also a round of kind of some, you know, not many goals scored, so-and-so performances with Betis and Real Madrid really shining. Also, I think the weather in Spain was not all the greatest. And this is where we're gonna start in a way. I mean, if we look here at the games, uh, Celta via Real 1-1, uh, result doesn't help either one of the teams. Um, Sevilla's 2-2 against Alaves was played in, uh, I don't wanna say torrential rain, but a water-locked pitch, which is such a weird sight for Seville. Uh, in many ways, Alaves twice taken lead in the first half, La Guardia already in the fifth minute, uh, and Jose Lu in, deep into stoppage time of the first half, Ocampos getting an equalizer in between. Um, and I'm starting to think that maybe Alaves can find an escape. They're still kind of down there, but I think they might be able to find an escape. Uh, speaking of which, Levante again not winning. They're the only team that have, have not won so far. Uh, rather, rather bad for uh, them because they got some remarkable draws against big teams. Um, and just when you thought that Alaves might pull off the surprise, Rakitic gets an equalizer in stoppage time. And it's a 2-2 draw, but one that is really, really not boding well for uh, Sevilla because it, you know, if you want to make a title challenge, you gotta win those games. Just like Atletico Madrid does, having all loads of trouble with Osasuna, cannot get uh, anything really going. Yeah, creating and chances, and the longer the game is on. Typically, Atletico Madrid win. Felipe after Carrasco assist, getting the win in the 87th minute. What can I tell you about Xavi's debut? First of all, I didn't really see it. I saw the highlights, and what I could tell, it was a rather stuttering start for Xavi. Absolutely stutter start. Um, and it was down to a penalty gift to Barcelona. And unfortunately, I know this is it's hard to overturn this on VAR, but the initial call, I mean, clearly the ball being played. I don't know. I honestly would have called the ref there. Watch it again. This is no foul. Memphis step by steps up, gives Barca the lead. Uh, Raul de Tomas should have gotten an equalist. I think did he twice hit the Woldberg? At least he had two, at least really, really big ch ch chances. Uh, that win was more than flattering for Barcelona. And yeah, it is a winning start. Uh, but there's a whole lot of work coming up for Xavi. That's for sure. But we knew that from the beginning. So uh, what's the surprise there? Uh, other than that, Getafe, a huge win that sees them uh, go away from the bottom of, of the table um, over uh, Cadiz. Uh, and Real Madrid also a pretty uh, convincing win. You know, Tony Kroos assisting the first two goals, Asensio and Fernandez, uh, Nacho, Nacho Fernandez, uh, scoring the first two. I mean, Suarez pulls one back, but uh, it was more or less optional defending from Granada and Real Madrid not needing a lot of, uh, you know, not needing to get the last out of them uh, to get that win. Uh, Vinicius Jr. adds one, then uh, Montreux is getting sass and enough, and then Mendy very, very late on makes it 4-1. A very convincing win, and again, underlining the fact that I personally think that Real Madrid is probably the team to beat this season. Uh, since a very Betis, Betis getting a big 3-0 win at Elche, a win that actually uh, sees them make up ground. Now they are also in fifth spot, uh, still ahead of Barcelona. Barcelona having a game in hand, but that will still see them ahead of Barcelona, which uh, reminds me, before I go into the last game, uh, since we still have a game uh, to uh, to to play it at the time that I'm shooting it. Uh, I think it will be potentially over once this post. So once you see this, however, if you want to see all these results, 
uh, StatsCast will be out tomorrow. I said maybe not tomorrow morning, European time, more lunchtime ish, but you know, we'll have to see how I will get uh, to it. But yeah, uh, the last game, not that I saw much of it, from all that I heard, it was a rather testy affair, not a great game. Real Sociedad uh, getting frustrated with Valencia being kind of a defensively and in the end probably Valencia could, could have won it, but uh, it was mostly the referee that who let the game slip out of his hand and then the game got a whole lot more nasty than it probably needed to uh, be. So all that means now is that um, up top not much change. You still Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, Sevilla and Real Sociedad expected to uh, finish top four. Although Barcelona might move in there. We have to see uh, Betis um, also getting into the fold. So might be in, in, interesting. I think for me the big story so, so far is uh, can Atletico and Sevilla um, catch Real Madrid or pull them down so uh, that to me is the one story the other one is will Barcelona hang on to a top four spot is there another team for once that will break uh, the top four that we had in the past two seasons uh, which actually would be a nice change I know with my uh, Barcelona leanings yeah but I think the Barcelona they need to kind of have a reset button and I know Champions League millions would be very helpful but on the on the other side if they don't don't deserve it you have to do with the Europa League for once um, I think there are worse things you might actually win your Europa League this season and then you get into the Champions League and, and anyway I think this if I was Barcelona this would be now my uh, goal for the season win the Europa League because if Villarreal can win it uh, Barcelona for sure can do so too but yeah, um, we really got to see. Uh, we, uh, there was also the sad news that Sergio Aguero potentially needs to end his career because of the heart condition that he had uh, last uh, on the last uh, match day, which I probably didn't talk too, 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 much, too much about. It was kind of a scary scene where you just see him sitting down and then he has some heart condition. I think at, the, at his age, I actually think it's not, you know, it's probably a good uh, good thing to call it a day and it, it just shows you how much of a mess Barcelona is anyway uh, that you sign Aguero to maybe he plays with Messi then you lose Messi and then now he Aguero is kind of an afterthought so he scored against Real Madrid in any case that's it from me for the weekend um, we have Champions League coming up Kind of exciting, I have to say, uh, although I'm not so excited for Milan, but you know, maybe Atletico Madrid. Yeah, no. Let's see. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. Please drop anything below that you want to add to this video. And I will talk to you soon. And next week, we also get a little bit of Liga Portugal. Up until that, bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!